you can see for this particular part, we have this banding that we have here from DJI Mini 5 Pro, and that can be a little bit problematic. So what we can try and do is try and control it. And what I'll kind of show you how you can maybe go about it. So we're gonna come over to our power windows here, and then I'm gonna simply see where that power window is being selected. I can bring this down. And if I just come over to my HDR wheel, let's come over to my global and I start bringing this down. You can see that banding is just, crazy it's way too strong so what we can try and do is i'm just going to drop my light like this i'm going to drop my highlight and i'm just going to actually use the curves like this to try and get rid of that banding line because when we do this the sky yes is going to be blown out a little bit i'd rather it be a little bit blown out but we can bring it down afterwards rather than having that single one line band so you can also you can do this like this you can barely see it and then from after this power window node we can actually make a serial node after this and then what we can do is utilize that same mask by dragging that from there to there and then i can start using this part like this and bring that image down and i can start adding some colors to that part of the image whether that's a bit of a blue like so. And you can see that banding is not as present as it was, so before and after. So that banding is still slightly there, but it's looking a lot nicer. You, of course, we can utilize, if we're not wanting our character to be affected, we can utilize our luminance slider here, just to ensure our character is not selected like this. You can use a denoise to increase this. And our character won't be selected as much. And this is looking nice. And then you can use your gain slider within the second node like this ever so slightly probably bring this down like so i want to add some warmth to that sky as well utilizing my gamma and you can see it in a very unconventional way we've gone from this before to an after so we still do have color within the sky but we've kind of masked out that banding ever so slightly another great way of adjusting that banding is simply by adding some grain and adding some glow and you can see right here when I turn on the effects, which is simply a glow, blur, and a grain, you can see that this image, that banding kind of disappears quite nicely. It's hidden pretty well. 